How y'all doing, guys? This is Charles Miles, but everything's sweet. Uh, we've been having a series of pound cakes, and uh, we're going to kind of get away from that a little bit, and we're going to come to pies. Now, today, we're going to make two kinds of pies, but we're going to put it together. Just going to be one pie. And what are we doing? We're making sweet sweet potato pecan pie. Oh, man, that that's, that's going to that's gonna be something delicious, okay? Now, we already started here. We got our nine inch uh, pie pans here, okay? We're gonna roll two of them because we're making two different kind of pies, so naturally we're gonna have two pies. So we're making sweet potato pecan pie. Lord, how much, just the sound of that make me wanna hurry up and get this thing in the oven so I can get me a couple slices. Now we're gonna roll our pie dough. We got these out of the grocery store. Come two in a pack. You can use these. They have every little preserved in it, in it or, or not at all or you can make your own. But since we use, we're gonna use these instead of making our pie dough, but if you wanna make your pie dough, you just check the video, and that it will be a video in there on how to make your pie dough. But we just gonna use these from the grocery store. Two come in a pack, very little preservatives in it, and it works just fine, okay? We already rolled it out. Okay, we're gonna take it and put a little uh, spray in our pan here. A little spray in the pan. We're gonna set that there. See, you still can do some of the work of these. I don't like those ones that's frozen. It's already prepped, so that's why I get these. But you can use those that's already prepped. But I like to prep my own. Get thing down the bottom like that. Make sure you got it in there. You want to get these made uh, before you start on your fillings because this needs to set and rest just for a little while. If not, when it bake, it'll draw in. So you want to go ahead and get these done. Now we go ahead and uh, prep them things ourselves. See, when you and in, in doing baking and you had them holidays coming, you're talking about two or three hundred, two, three hundred of these things you had to prep. And you didn't, you didn't do it all in one day. What we did was we would do 50 in one day, we'll come back another day and do 50 more, and time we got what we needed. But, you know, you get through baking that day, and then you know you got to get on the pie dough. You got to prep. So, you learn how to do this pretty fast. Because if you didn't, you'd be there all day. And you didn't want to be there all day because you wasn't getting paid by an hour. You get paid by the day. So, you learn how to do stuff pretty fast. Okay, that's, our, that's one of our pie shells right there. And we're going to go ahead and make our other one. And we'll be right back when we get that rolled out, okay? Okay, we got our pie shells rolled and prepped. Two pie shells here. Now, we're going to make sweet potato pie first. Then we're gonna come back and make pecan pie. We're gonna put those two together and you in for a treat. Now, sweet potato pie, we've got two cups sweet potato. Uh, one cup of brown sugar, we got two eggs, half a cup of canned milk. One cup of butter, one stick, okay? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do our sweet potatoes, get our sweet potatoes going. Gonna put those in. Let me get some tools. I ain't got no tools. Okay, we're going to get our sweet potatoes in. We need to have some tools now if you're going to work. When I call them to come to work, they say, left with all your tools at home. <laughs> well, he ain't going to get very much done that day. Let somebody learn some tools. So you need to have your tools. What we're going to do, we're going to beat this, and we're going to get those little uh, pieces out, little pieces like that. We're going to beat them, and we're going to take those out. We're going to do it about three times. That's part of your sweet potato, so there's no way you won't get them all out, but get out what you can, okay? See that little 
little stuff on your mixer there. We're gonna rinse that off. We're gonna do it three times. We'll be back, okay? Uh, we dive in one more time. Second time, I'm gonna rinse them off. I'm gonna do it one more time, okay? Okay, now my mom was doing this. I don't recall her getting in there. Because the hands were going to bang it out. Man, we had good food that vibe in the year, mid a year. Man, she had me quick on holiday. So that's what we're doing now. Trying to move the little spray. Okay, that's our third time. Final time. Okay, I'm gonna rinse them off. Okay, we're gonna add a half a cup of butter to it now. That's one stick. Go ahead and put that in. Now, sweet potato pie just do it by itself. But once you combine those two pies together, <laughs> you just don't know. Now, I looked online and saw some, you know, they make sweet potato pie, put caramel on it, and sprinkle pecans on top, and they call it the you know, sweet potato pecan pie. But uh, we're going to do it the way it's supposed to be done. We're going to mix this uh, butter in. Then we'll come back with our sugar, all right? All right, we got one cup of brown sugar. We also got a half a teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon nutmeg, pinch of salt, and a half a, a fourth of a teaspoon of gin. All right, all that's going in now. We're going to mix that until we get the consistency we want. You know, three to four minutes. That's, you know, you might go five, but three to four minutes, you should have it mixed in quite well. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, we mixed our sugar in with our cinnamon, nutmeg, and gin. Mixed it by four minutes, okay? Now we're gonna add eggs. We got two eggs, we're gonna add them one at a time. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our first one in. We're gonna mix this by two minutes. Come back, add our final egg. All right, we got our two eggs in now, and you know what we're doing now, we're scraping down. Do not forget to straight down. This is our second time straight down, okay? We want everything in the main batch. That's why it's so important to straight down. Straight that thing down, okay? And we're gonna add our milk. shake things up a little instead of the vanilla extract we're gonna use lemon extract okay okay we got our lemon flavor 
flavor in already. We're gonna mix it for about a couple of minutes. We're gonna set it to the side. Then we're gonna start on our pecan pie though, okay? Okay, we got our sweet potato uh, pie filling made here. We got it in a different container. Now we're gonna start on our pecan pie filling. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put our brown sugar in. Got a cup of brown sugar here. We also got uh, a teaspoon full of all purpose flour also. We're gonna add our butter, half a cup, which is one stick. Yeah, I want it all. While well, I'm cleaning my wrap off. I want every bit of that butter. That's some expensive stuff. So, you want to make sure you get all that. All that expensive stuff, you want it all. We're going to mix that together. Probably get the consistency we're looking for. Then we'll add our corn syrup, our egg, and we'll be just about there. We're going to mix this about two, three minutes. Get the consistency we're looking for, okay? Okay, we got our sugar and our butter mixed, and now we're finna put our corn syrup in along with our flavor. We got a cup of corn syrup. Add that in. Mix that by two or three minutes till we get the consistency we're looking for. When I said it's consistent, we're looking for, we want it all together. Okay? Look like one batch instead of three different batches. So that's what we're doing. Uh, two or three minutes. <laughs> Everything you got straight down. Yeah, don't even give a second thought. Just, just do it. Straight it down. Okay.
feeling good. Did you put my kosher salt in here too? Oops. Oops, yeah. We're gonna put a pinch of kosher salt in. We're gonna have no oops. We got a pinch of kosher, kosher salt, we're gonna throw that in there, okay? Okay, we're gonna clean up a little bit, then we're gonna come back and put this put this pup together, okay? We'll see you back in short. Okay, I done put half of my sweet potato filling in a pastry bag. Now, you got two ways you can do this. You can use a pastry bag or you can spoon it in. Pastry bag, we just take it and just go. Sip it away, just want it all over the pan. So everybody that get a slice, get a slice of all the sweet potato and the pecans. Okay? Pie filling, we just pecan pie filling, we just pour it on top. All around that thing like that. Just take you, just drop it in like that. Just drop it in there like that. Okay, we got two cups of pecans. Just sprinkle them on top. Man, you mean for something here? Yeah. Sprinkle them things on top like that. Next one, we're going to put our pecan pie filling in. I'm going to put it in first. So, you know, you've got options where you want to do it. But basically what you're trying to do is get both of those pies together. Now your oven should be preheated at 350. 
It'll take anywhere for 35, 40 minutes. But the good thing about it, we can come back and check it for 45 minutes. We need more time, then we'll put more time on it. Back with the macaws now. Cause we got some here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be damn delicious. Okay. We're gonna take our spatula. Just gonna mash them down just a little bit on top. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. Make sure they stay in place. Okay. Okay, baby. We're ready to go in the oven. Five minutes come back check it need more time we'll do it we'll see you back here just like that how y'all doing guys we back uh sweet potato pecan pie about to come out of the oven we here made a little bourbon butter glaze we got a little um butter in here a little corn syrup Do my bottle, girl. Get my bottle over there. Why you move that bottle? Yeah, we got some. We got a little bourbon in there. I don't know why she's trying to move that bottle. And we gonna glaze these when they come out of the oven. They've been in about 45 minutes. And this is what what they look like when they come out. Now you shake that thing. That thing takes. And you do that. Shake like jam, shake like jam, like the thing, shaking like jam, then the thing ready to come out, okay? Been in about 45 minutes. Take a brush, mix it a little bit more. Gonna take a brush, just gonna glaze top that thing. Look at that, man! <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, Lord! If you can smell what I is smelling, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna let these things cool a little bit and we're gonna come back and take a big slice out of it. Sweetheart, you got pecan, sweet potato, bourbon laid, glazed pecan pie. Can you say all that in one sentence? Sweet potato, pecan pie with bourbon glaze on the top of it. Let him, we're gonna let them cool and we're going to be back, and we're going to get a slice out of this thing, and we're going to find out what we got. I already know, but we're going to show you what we got, okay? So we'll be back in about 45, maybe 50 minutes. We'll be back to show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we're back. Uh, we baked sweet potato pecan pie with bourbon glaze on top. Let me just say it one more time because y'all didn't hear me in the back. Sweet potato, pecan pie with bourbon glaze. Okay, we done sliced it here. And uh, we got it here on the plate here for serving. And we're just going to taste a little piece of this thing because I don't want to have to eat it all up. Oh, Lord, look at that. Sweet potato come popping through in that pecan popular. So don't leave me out. Then the roasted pecans on top. 
with the lemon flavor and the sweet potato. Then you got that vanilla kind of kicking you in the background. Lord, how much. And that little cow meal I got on the plate right there. Mmm. You have a combined all them different flavors together. If you like sweet potato pie, and you like pecan pie, this is going to be one of your favorites. Mm, mm, mm. Now, if you had a glass of milk, you had a glass of milk, if not the milk, a scoop, of vanilla ice cream on top of this thing. You be in Hall Kevin by yourself. But you wouldn't be there long when try to rescue your family find out what you would eat. Mm. No. No, no, no. Mm, mm, mm. Now, if you don't try the sweet potato, the corn pie, with the bourbon glaze on top, oh, no. You really having a party in your mouth. Hmm. Please, she took my plate. Well, we as chefs are trained to always taste the finished product. Now, notice I said taste, you can't eat the whole damn slice. You only can taste it. And make sure it's ready for the public. And believe me, this thing is ready to go. Now, this is Charles Mile with Everything Sweet. We have bourbon glaze, sweet potato, pecan pie. Try this recipe. <laughs> You'll be glad you did. Now, we'll be back next week uh, with something else delicious. And we look forward to see y'all then. And thank you are letting us in your house and we we'll definitely appreciate you. We'll be back next week. Thank y'all.